Hello YouTube, Salivate Metal here. Heavy Metal Thunder. Heavy Metal Noise. That's right. That's what this chat is all about. Because it's relevant no matter what time of day it is or what time of night it is or what the weather is. It can be rainy, it can be stormy, it can be anything, it can be, you know, who knows what. But nonetheless, there it is. There you have it. Heavy Metal Thunder. And uh, so, yes, what's your reaction to that? That is what we'll find out in the ensuing minutes and seconds here. Maybe we'll find out from some place. I don't know. Maybe Norway will be a place to find out about heavy metal thunder and heavy metal noise. Well, Norway is becoming the metal capital of the world right now. And Germany is as well. Hello, Horror Mirror. And the Germany has got the band Creator, which is a great metal band. But this is some other metal right here, these bolts. By the way, there was a band called Bolt Thrower as well, too. DB's Coin Hunting is here. Hello. Greetings from Scotland. We've got a European audience here this late late night here. Bar is upside down. Oh, well, sorry about that. Whoops. I'm, I apologize there. Sorry, Pitbullion. There we go. Right side up. Right said Fred. <laughs> Very good. Europe is here in full force. Uh, it's a new wave of European metal. That's right. And hey, we've even got a Zimbabwe reference here. Cyber couldn't twitcher from Zimbabwe. Now, very, very nice. Good evening, Canadian Silver Saver. Good to see you. All right. Nice to see everybody here. And thank you all, by the way, for listening to the previous um, chat with our one and only, um, whatchamacallit, what was his name? Junius Maltby, yeah, I forgot. <laughs> um, hey, Horror Mirror bought a silver spoon as a baptism gift today. Very nice, Horror Mirror. Awesome. You know, I had a, I've got a silver spoon too, but I had to buy it because I wasn't born with one in my mouth. All right. This is a very much an impromptu, um, live feed here with no particular agenda other than metal and i'd like to take a moment to send greetings to silver wolverine vicious stacker who is here with us and everyone else here and by the way um uh what chips oh i'm not eating chips i'm actually eating a granola bar here dark chocolate which is just fabulous here. Yummy for my tummy. And, uh, yeah. And I never knew that silver spoons were related to baptisms. Baptism gift. Very interesting. CCT got one. Tony, Ricky, we sure are welcome from England. Yes, thank you very, very much, Tony. Very nice. All right. It's amazing because I always, um, you know, think when I start these things too late for my European audience, but you guys are awesome to come on here. Canadian Silver Savers, good to be here. Uh, filing multi -cop copyright complaints against a person jacking my videos. You know, I have had the same thing happen to me. And uh, yeah. And um, I've posted as well, and they said that they found no problem with the videos. So I don't know what's going on. But I got responses from YouTube saying, so maybe they've, they've lacked that. Who knows what's going on? But anyways, but yeah. Yeah, very good. I hope you can get that worked out. Hello, Lulu Snowflake is here. All right. Hello, Lulu. Good to see you. She had a chat, by the way, um, last night. And it was very puzzling, I must say. I, I've never been so puzzled before in my entire life, but it was amazing. Absolutely amazing. So I encourage you all to check out Lulu's channel if you want to find out what I'm talking about, how puzzling things can be, and the like. So very good. Epic Gameplays HD. Hello. Very good. I don't think I've ever seen you before, but welcome. Hello. He's waving his hand there. I see that. I see that. Nice. And uh, mm. <clears throat> the reason for this chat here, or this, not this, this live stream, is to make you guys aware that tonight, this very night, I'm going to acquire some heavy metal. 
And I uh, see the thing is, is not only do I like silver and gold, but I'll, I, I tend to have a fetish for metal. Let me, let me just explain. Let me just explain. I'm not talking about this, not just this kind of metal here, which, you know, I kind of like that kind of metal too. I'm talking about not just this kind of metal as well. Not just that kind. I'm talking about, hold on, hold on. Let me show you the other kind of metal I like. I'm going to have to. I might have to do a crotch shot on this one here. Let's see here. This is what I'm talking about here. Let me see if I can. Just bear with me. I've got to show this is going to be so cool. Uh, oh. When you're live, things like that happen. And you never know. I'm going to have to do a crotch shot. Apparently, I apologize for the crotch shot in advance. Look at that solid metal right there. That's a camshaft. Heavy, heavy, heavy. Weighty, weighty metal right there. Very good. Very nice. So that's what that is. I'm going to acquire more of this stuff tonight. Hopefully not as bulky and big as this and weirdly shaped. But can you imagine this done in silver? This camshaft in silver? We need to get some of these uh, these Delft clay guys to, to uh, do something about that and make some, some, killer, uh, some killer silver pieces like that. Big, huge shaft. All right, now, let me see here. Yeah, little chunks chunks of metal like that, just kind of, they kind of turn me on, you know what I'm saying? Pretty cool stuff, very good. Yeah, 1,000 ounce bar would, would probably work for that one, Pit Bullion, for sure. Hello, Mr. Vegeta. Mr. Vegeta is the man. He, uh, he brings us... The latest news and information and deals, Mr. Vegeta's deals, check out his channel. He's got a sweet calendar. Don't touch my silver. That's what she said. Exactly right. That's, you hit the nail on the head on that one. Or you, you screwed, you'll get screwed over if you know what I mean, if you, if you touch his silver. Very good. All right. Nice. Let's see here. Yeah, that would probably that would probably be about right, folks. Would probably take the thousand ounce bar to get to that. Well, you know what? Actually, you know what? Maybe I mean a. Um, actually, you know what? I don't think it would take a thousand. A thousand ounces is about seventy two pounds. It's not quite. Uh, it's not quite that much. Yes, this is James Justice era. James here. With the skinny jeans, you know, that was the big thing. The thrash metalers wore those back in the day. But <clears throat> let's focus on this kind of metal. I still really like this thing that uh, was sent over by Naps, Naps, N-A-P-C. Tricky Guy is here. Tricky Guy, Long John Silver. Good Tips is here. Where's Good Tips? I thought I saw Good Tips. Stalker video game, yeah. I'm hungry, people. I'm going to eat more of this while we're waiting. Yeah. Shaft. Yeah. Pretty good. Mmm. <clears throat> okay, let's see. Let's see. Okay, we got some queen talk here. Word for the queen's beast. Oh, yes. Yes. We're right up, you know, and that's, I have a theory about the Queen's Beast. I may do a video on this. 
Well, I am right now. I'm where this is a video, right? You see things moving in front of you. That means this is a video. It's not just me talking. You see things moving on your screen right there. But here's the thing. All right. I have a theory on the Queen's Beast. <clears throat> there was rumor that, well, we thought it was going to be one per year for 10 years, right? And then it was theorized that it would be two per year. Well, here we are just wrapping up March of 2017. They've already, re already released two, count them two, for Queen's Beasts. Two of the Queen's Beasts, which is this, right? So they've released two this year, and uh, it's only March. And I'm wondering if they're going to release these suckers in anticipation that the queen is 90 years old. She'll be 91 in April. And perhaps, maybe, they're thinking they want to get them released before she dies. So we shall see. That's my guess. <clears throat> because if she dies, <clears throat> from what I understand at CCT, and in my other Brit friends, correct me if I'm wrong, but they are mandated to put uh, Charles on there, I guess, or I guess, or if it's William, if he advocates the throne, but I think he's next in line. Uh, but I guess it could go to William. And uh, so that's the question of the day is what will happen? Yeah, we don't want to jinx the queen, Shea says. Hello, Silver Nymph. Good to see you. She loves the Queen's Beast, and I do too. They're, I, I'm, I'm really a fan. Mm. <clears throat> Silver Future asked, Sal, what do you think about Brexit? Do you think the pound has a good future? Do you think that will affect the beast? They are legal tender in British pounds. Um, well, I think Brexit, there's going to be growing pains with Brexit, but I think overall it's a good idea and was good and was a good move on the on the Britain's part because – uh, from a purely ideological standpoint, uh, a government is better uh, to which is closer to the people, to its constituents. Uh, a, a government which is further away from its constituents has, is, is much less effective, number one, and much less accountable. So we need an, an accountable government, and a government that is closest to the people is the most accountable. So very good. All right. Thank you. Yes. So I think that's why they're going to be doing the uh, the Queen's Beasts um, series. They're stepping it up. I don't, will they do a third program, third one this year? I don't know. Thank you, Lulu, and thank you, Silver Nymph. Very much appreciate that. Half dollar. Isn't Prince Charles a Queen's Beast? Well, <laughs> that's anybody's guess, I guess. You guess, I guess, he guessed. Ikeo Net is here. Hello, Ikeo. Oh, this is funny. Ikeo thought that Leon said, my queen's breast milk spotted. Oh, a little Freudian slip there. Yes, indeed. All right, very good. Let's see here. Okay. Good crowd tonight here. So, yeah, so the queen's beast, and we have the... And I haven't got the dragons yet, by the way. The only dragon I got was this, because I got a good deal on it. Well, I think it was a good deal anyway. You tell me, 50 bucks American. I know Golden Arms got one. Tricky Guy says, we need a Queen's Knight suit of armor made of silver. That would be pretty cool. So Horror Mirror says, will the queen be removed from the maple leaf too when she dies? Yes, that it will be the next monarch. And my guess is it will be either Charles or William. Any of you Brits chime in. I may be, I may be uh, off base here. Edward Spencer, hello. Do you think Russia may be buying up metals to make it more difficult for UK to uh, shore up their currency leading to Brex Brexit? Uh, let's see here. They very well may. Um, I know Russia and China and India are buying up the precious metals like crazy. I would be more worried about China. Russia's economy is not quite uh, – they're still struggling, although I think they're doing a little better now. Kate Middleton on the reverse of in the future. There you go. About four of each. I like the dragons too. Yeah, the dragons are nice. 
of Mr. Vegeta. Yes. Yeah, Freudian slip. If you put an R after the B in Beast, you got you get Queen's breasts. That's right. Anthony G. Yes, we've been talking about metal all night long. And our love for metal. Oh, yeah. Let's see here. Half Dollar says that he thinks Trump should replace Queen Elizabeth. Oh, Trump needs to... Trump needs to listen to the Freedom Caucus, I think, on the health care bill. Then I'll be a, back in his good graces. Or he'll be in my good graces. How's that? Merkel will be on all British coins after the Queen's death. I'm 100% sure about that, Leon says. <laughs> That's right. Trump would look great under RCM Maple Leaf, half he says. Silver Future. It's a crazy looking chunk of silver there. What is that? This is the uh, Lotus series of the Dragon. And it's part of a uh, another Lunar series by the Royal Canadian Mint with the Lizard on the obverse here. The Queen of who we've been affectionately talking about. <clears throat> um, oh, uh, Silver Nymph, I am chomping on this. It's a dark chocolate Nature Valley Yumminess, dark, yummy, yummy, yummy. I love these things. Mm, mm. Um, I love the food the top of your mouth, though. So that's why I'm going to do it because I know it's not polite. So, well, I'm not trying to be rude, I'm just not polite. Mm. All right. And Healy IQ says, <clears throat> John Hartley wants to see Kate's breast. So you're not missing much. Stephen Wells, don't take long for Trump to ask for Dems' help. Yeah, <clears throat> I mean, he should listen to the Freedom Caucus. That's what that's the help he should get from. Let's see here. Merkel is the new boss. Good tips. Uh, it'll be like Donald Tusk. Yeah, Donald isn't Tusk the uh, the the president of the um, the European Union? I believe he is. Is that right? Good tips. Something Tusk, I think, is his name. <clears throat> Let's see here. Happy Trump and the Freedom Caucus are producing fake news to throw off the media. Don't worry, Trump, the Freedom Caucus, and Rand Paul are getting the job done. Good. That's, a, that's what we want, and I hope you're right. All right, don't touch my silver, says I took a dump that looked like Trump's face yesterday. Too much info, but it's going on eBay soon. I shouldn't have read that, <laughs> actually, to be honest with you, but I did. Let's see here. All right, Silver Nymph asks, do you think gold will take another dip? I'm going to stack up. You know, it really, <clears throat> you know, I do kind of, from time to time, I'll dabble in the prediction game. And at this point, <clears throat> honestly, it's anybody's guess. And I know that's not the answer you're looking for, but, uh, but I, um, you know, I think, I think it's undervalued, just like I think silver's undervalued right now. And um, I think it's as good a time as any to get some. But if it does go down when you buy, um, then don't feel bad because it will just come back up again. In, in other words, buy with the, with the state of mind that you're going to hold it for the long haul. And if that's your picture, Silver Nymph, you're pretty young. So you've got a long way to go. So it's going gonna, it's gonna to go up, I guarantee you, if you're stacking young and you hold it for, for a while. Yes, Ikeo, I like my dark chocolate. I also like those little um, uh, Gerald, Gerald, Gerald Deldy, Gerald Geldy, or however you pronounce that, the little dark chocolate squares. All right. Silver Future. Let's see. Has a good feeling about platinum. 
yes, platinum is definitely undervalued. And historically, <clears throat> and I know it's been like this for a while, but I remember the days when platinum was consistently higher than gold and, uh, and, and relatively significantly higher too. And uh, platinum, I think, is somewhere in the uh, around the realms of um, 20 times rarer than gold. Anthony G is asking about when the 2017 Libertads will be uh, released. You know, that's a great question, Anthony. I seems like every year they just come out when they come out. There's no real announcement about it. You'll see maybe pre-sales for some of the bullion dealers, but there's that's kind of varies. Hello, Stephen Heath. He's saying hello. Ah, good tips is saying yes. Uh, so Tuck, Tusk is the, the guy's name. He's Polish, and he's Merkel's puppet. Yeah, I've, I've come to to believe that um, that um, Merkel is definitely a globalist. <clears throat> It always goes down when Stephen Wells buys. Yeah, same for me. Half he's going to leave the predicting the silver gold man. Yes, that's the eternal vessel of truth right there. Oh, yes. <clears throat> ah, Silver Nymph is going to buy a few ounces. Good. All right. Very good. I wish I could throw around a couple ounces of gold right now. That'd be nice. I did get an ounce that I'm going to do a video on, though. And I tell you what, buying an ounce of gold is not an easy task. Um, unlimited income, to me, it's it's a kind of a big deal. But I do like, if I can do it, I like to get the ounces if possible. Let's see here. All right. Ah, Mr. Wizard Lizard. Thank you. The chocolate is pronounced Ghirardelli. Thank you. Ghirardelli. Like, like gear, like top gear. Intellicrect, the coin medic is here. Haven't seen you in a while, sir. Good to see you. Hello. All right. Silver Nymph picked up a lot of platinum last year. I also got an another ounce of platinum. I haven't done a video on that I got a, a while ago. It was actually inspired by um, our very own look at it guy. Yeah, man, Silver New Jack. That's who inspired me to buy this thing. And that that's not an easy task, too. The coin I bought was something that I've wanted for a while and wanted to get, so I finally got it. The uranium price. <clears throat> yeah, ETF. That's Uranium is one thing you want to get as an ETF and not the physical, because believe you me, that's, that's yes, if you hold it, you own it, but you also condone it, which means that you're going to get uranium, uh, uh, you know, radiation sickness, and that's not in my deck of cards, you know what I'm saying? Don't touch my silver. I had this chocolate from Carlsbad yesterday that had potato chips in it. It was excellent, Only, but $4 per bar. Wow. Yeah, I'd like to try that. That would be pretty cool. All right. Good stuff. Silver Jack is here. Hello. CCT still awake in here. Very nice. My European friends are awesome. It's amazing. And here I'm late. Okay, let's climb down here and see some of these other th other things here. Okay, let's see. What do you say regarding Bitcoin? It's a 1090 now. Yeah, Mr. V, you know, <clears throat> I'm not a fan, even though I respect that it's a, it's a completely privately made and conceived uh, currency. And... Uh, you know, the reason why I'm not a fan is because, you know, if the electricity goes out, for instance, if we have an EMP or a hack or something like that, and don't, and by the way, those that say it can never be hacked because of the blockchain process, uh, it's, it's Bravo Sierra. That's, that's BS in other words. Um, and, and, uh, and also it's not to say that governments may ban it in some countries. And if they do it in a big enough country, that's going to affect the price, number one. And number two, it's going to, uh, I think it could cause problems and it could have a daisy chain or domino effect um, type of deal. But there's so many things that could go wrong with it. It's still in its early stages, though, because it's only a couple of years old. But it is very strong right now. 
but it's also very volatile right now. And again, um, during last week's chat chat with um, Junius, you know, he said it's even tough getting it free. So, you know, I don't know. No one's ever given me a tenth of a Bitcoin before. I don't even, wouldn't even know how to get it. Apparently, there's a wallet or some sort or something like that. And it's a big digit or something. And I don't know how to use it or know how to sell it. And some say it'll go up to $10,000, Mr. Vegeta says. And yeah, I guess, you know, it's it's anybody's guess at this point because apparently there's a limited amount of them, right? 22 million or something like that, Bitcoin. But the thing is, is who, um, who's to say that, that that's really all there is out there? So the people that are mining them, well, they can just mine some more. So yeah, Silver Nymph uh, says Bitcoins is as fake as my eyelashes and fiat. And that's kind of how I feel about it too. And um, so that cap, it's there's no regulation on that cap. In other words, Mr. Vegeta, that's that's what. And again, I don't I don't fault for people who um, who uh, who obtain it or use it. It's just that to me, it's too volatile, and it's too uncertain. And uh, and even if it becomes adopted, and Amazon starts accepting it, and and pretty much every mode of exchange starts accepting it as payment. Well, <clears throat> just like uh, my dollars in my bank account that are essentially just zeros and ones, it could disappear. This, this, and this will not disappear. Um, and by the way, not only that, but this will also not disappear. Unless I sell it, of course, trade it or whatever. This is going to stick around. You know what I'm saying? I like this thing. And CCT makes a great point. This is the most important point. You cannot salivate with Bitcoin. Very good. All right. Alan Gold is here with us today. A nice, chummy, and positive outlook guy. He's... I, I must confess to people, you know, people say, well, you don't know Alan Gold. He might, he's a freak, you know, a freak of nature. But you know what? He's my guidance counselor. He's my, uh, he's my shrink. And by shrink, I mean, he's really short. He's a short Asian guy from North Korea. <laughs> All right. And Edward Spencer uh, pretty much sums up Bitcoin. I'm laughing at Alan Gold. <laughs> Sorry, people. <laughs> Missile staged. <laughs> Cracking up over here. <laughs> we don't want an international crisis, so I better, uh, I better um, keep, uh, keep it on the diplomatic down low, you know? All right. Let's see here. All right. So Edward Spencer subs, sums up Bitcoin. Bitcoin only exists electronically. There is nothing physical to back it up. And that just, that perfectly sums it up. <clears throat> All right. Let's see what Don't Touch My Silver said. I missed it. I love those five ounce Chad coins. You can hold it. Yeah, I love those thick Chad coins. Very good. Chris Picker is here. Hello, Chris Picker. Good to see you. Just got home from work. <clears throat> yeah. Tricky guy. I don't own Bitcoin, but there's some rather incorrect assumptions expressed here about it. <clears throat> there is a physical form printed on paper. And you know what paper, you know what can happen to paper, right? It can burn. And if paper burns, it disintegrates. If silver burns, it melts. And it just takes a different form. I mean, look at this. This piece right here almost melted. It was in some heat. It was in big time heat. Nonetheless, there we go. Let's see here. Hello from Quebec, Canada. Not so perfect homestead. Nice to see you. Thank you. From Canada, from Quebec. Silver Future. Sal, what's the story behind the kitty round being 1.75 ounce? I was too cheap to get a two ounce. No, the, the story behind that is um, 
I wanted a two ounce to be honest with you with a, with a pronounced H to be honest with you. But uh, the, uh, the problem was is their machinery could not take a two ounce thick piece. And don't say that's what she said. Don't say that. Um, so anyways, without spending an exuberant amount of money to get uh, the, the proper machinery and equipment to make that happen. So the heaviest, they, the thickest they could go was this thick, which uh, turns out to be 1.75 ounce. So that's why, that's the, that's the official, that's the, that's the backstory why. The uh, uh, the official reason is because I'm trying to be clever and fill in the gaps between the Royal Canadian Mints one point two five ounce and and one point five ounce and then they have a two ounce and I figured well the next one in line is one point seven five ounce so that's my spin on it. All right, let's see here. Uh, Dots Gallus Dot said. You can have as well a physical address on a silver coin and keep the private keys like the paper address. Yes, I've seen those, the physical bitcoins where you have the address on the coin, but I guess once you spend it, it's gone, right? So that address doesn't work anymore. I mean, I don't know. I, I don't know. Unless it can be stored on that address again. I don't know enough about it. Kalonic Stacker says, would you buy an ASC with a Sean Spicer privy? Uh, maybe it just depends how strong the spice is. If it's a, um, uh, what is her name? McCarthy, Jenny McCarthy, Melissa McCarthy spice. Then I'm not buying that. I'm not, not on about that. Yes. Yes. This fortitude round is for Alan's viewing pleasure because this is pumped and geared with a subliminal message strictly meant for him. There's a very, intricate micro printing for Alan Gold specifically on this piece to encourage him to buy or to demand that he buys it. That's the whole reason behind these fortitude rounds. I finally got this thing on right side up. Wait, I think it's, see on my camera it's right side up and yours is upside down or vice versa. Now it's upside down. Now I gotta turn it back around. Look at those eyes, his hypnotic eyes for Alan Gold. Very good. Leon97 would buy a Merkel round. This is my Larry the Cable Guy round. I mean, my Larry Curly and Moe round. I'm a winning. <clears throat> I'm not going to get the uh, the gold coin, Alan. I'm sorry I to burst your bubble. Number one, I can't afford it. Number two, I'm not a, I think it's a little too politically in, uh, politically correct for me. Let's see here. Uh, not so perfect. Homestead has a ten ounce Garisopa bar. Um, those are cool, and I've seen them. There's two different types. I don't have one myself. I have the rounds, but believe it or not, um, they've all but become just no a novelty items. Other than the the obviously the intrinsic value of the silver and the, the fact that the silver came from the wreck. But there was so much silver in that wreck, 200 and some million ounces or something like that, I believe, that they just, they used most all those bars and minted so much silver uh, in the rounds and in the quarter ounce Britannias and the 10 ounce bars. And then produced so many of them that the, the, the premiums just kind of drained away from them. All right, Fertitude is Alan Gold's kryptonite. Oh, Leon 97's got to uh, leave for a second. His girlfriend wants something from him. Uh, we will begin to speculate while he's gone what exactly she wants from him. Let the speculation begin as we speak. And I will not read the comments if they're too naughty. Let's see here. Haffy has two of the 10 ounce 2014 koalas. So ugly. Yeah, I think I'm. Didn't you do a video on those, Haffy? They are kind of ugly, aren't they? Not a big fan. 
2014 was the year Happy's image replaced the koala. Oh, that's cruel and heartless. <clears throat> Let's see here. Kalonic Stacker asks, have I ever played a metal cover of the wreck of the Edmund Fitzgerald? No, I've not, but that would be pretty cool. Silver Nymph asks, what happens if he comes back in only a minute? Well, that means he's got a premature problem, if you know what I'm saying. We'll leave it there. But nonetheless, it's been over 60 seconds since Leon's been gone. So my guess is that it's going to be a two-minute session, maybe a little bit more. We shall see. If he doesn't come back for another hour, then we know he's, or two hours, or seven hours, then he's Sting. And if you don't know what I mean by Sting, I'm talking about the singer for the police. And you'll have to Google that story to know what I'm talking about. Ooh, I had a power surge here. I had a power surge, so if I lose power, then my Bitcoin's gone and this connection's gone. So there we go. The Grenadier is here. Alumpolum. Hello from Germany. We've got another German. I think we've out I think the viewers of this of my live streams, I'm serious. I think there's more Europeans here uh, than there are Americans. Silver Nymph, where are you American or are you European? Unless she's a minute maid. And it may make some mean orange juice, I tell you that. Who's the other? There's, there's, there's Leon. There was, a, I think, a couple of people from Germany in here, I believe. Leon Panetta is one. Not Leon Panetta, but you know what I'm talking about. Oh, boy, don't get me started on the Power Rangers, Happy. I wouldn't touch that movie with a seven-foot pole. Or a 10-foot pole, actually. Or the coins. Stephen Heath is British. We've got a lot of British people here. Bob Wolf is from America. Matteo. Matteo, hey. Matteo man. Matteo man. Nice to see you. Silver Nymph is Eastern European descent. Well, <clears throat> I'm Western European descent, but I'm a, I'm in, in America. Do you live in America now, or do you live in Eastern European? And when I mean European, I don't mean you're urinating. I mean that's your descendant. You know what I'm saying? Let's see here. Hello, Dean. Tomoko's Enterprise. Good to see you. Robert. Hello, Robert. Robert Carlson's from Ohio. Let me see here. Let's see where people are from. I mean, you know, just general location. You don't have to give me, you don't have to give me um, GPS coordinates. No longitude or latitude. I'm just curious. Okay, so Silver Nymph lives in Eastern Europe for the last 15 years. Leon's proven his worth because he's been gone longer than a couple minutes here. Calvin Burns, 88. What's up, homie? Good to see you. Good to see all of you guys. Wow, I've, you know, honestly, <clears throat> this is insane. I think this is a record turnout. I've got 49 people watching. That's unusual. And that's great. And I've got nothing particularly particular to say. Oh, well, we know Alan Gold is from, he's from just north of the 38th parallel. He's hanging out at that big old hotel in Pyongyang. We got Polaris Works, who's from Amsterdam. We got Gottsteam, who is holding his own in the left coast. Charles Wilson, good day. How are you doing? Good tips is a low as Silesia, Poland. That's right. He's a Polish guy. Lower, lower, lower Poland. Tasmania Silver Stacker. We know where he's from. What's up, Silver to Burn? How's it going, my friend? Good to see you. Good to see ya. Uh, I hope nobody heard that. I really hope nobody heard that. Let me see. I'm trying to find something here. Ooh. Anyways, all right. How many of you are sick of looking at this? <laughs> I'm going to... Let's see here. How about some elephantes? To look at some elephantes. 
Boston, Kalonic Stackers from Boston. Either that's his favorite band or that's where he lives. Maine. Uh, Edward Spencer's in Maine. Silver Burns from Wisconsin. Very good. Nice. Yes, hello, Tasmania Silver Stacker, who makes some awesome boxes, by the way. Good crafted things. And Silver to Burn makes some great crafted um, cast silver. And I was trying to find the piece he made for me, the gun, but it's not at my disposal at the momento. But anyways, yeah. Let's see here. All right, all right. Yes, yes, that's right, Happy. And you know what? I, as soon as I get caught up on some uh, bills and stuff, I'm going to get one of those. And I may end up getting it from Germany. So you might want to, in time, I might ask you for that contact if he's still selling them when I'm ready to buy. Because I need to get that because i got to complete my collection too. Happy and I are brothers in arms because um, we collect the high-relief elephants. YouTube art, yeah, I'll try to check that out, Bob Wolf. That remix in the on the Fitzgerald song, Island Silver Boy, Island Boy Silver. Good to see you, Tim Garrett. David Argento is in that. It's here as well, David Argento. Good to see you. Good to see you, sir. Who else is here that popped in? Man, we're got it. We got a pretty good audience tonight. I was gonna just split and. And say, see you later, you know, and just kind of jettison you guys. But, you know, I'm obligated to stay. You know what I'm saying? Because, ooh, let me see. Yeah, Argento is in the house. Leon's back. Leon, tell us about your ventures with the uh, with the girl, with your girlfriend there. And uh, give us a great specificity in those details, please, sir. We appreciate that very much. All right. I sold rare coins in my channel. Alum Pullum has. Very good. Phew, made it in time, Leon. That's right. You sure did. Yes. But we won't jettison the crew. We'll, we'll stick around here for folks because we got a good crowd uh, tonight here. And um, I could tell some stand-up comedy, you know, for you guys. You know, I. but that's going to have to quit my day job. We don't want that. Oh, so I'll, I'll just break dance for you guys then. All right, how's that? Good, good idea, Alan Gold. I could rap for you all. Oh, shark teeth. You know that that's the thing. <clears throat> I did see on someone's channel, um, Bernie, uh, the uh, the great shark's teeth you poured that were sharp. I mean, those things were. I mean, it's amazing. Yes, I could pop. And lock, I can't do it. I mean, you know, but I used to pop and lock. You know, I used to do that back in uh, high school. Uh, breaking was 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 a favorite movie of mine. I used to do the pop and lock. You know what I'm saying? I was I was a uh, pretty coach. I could knee spin like a mofo too. But you can't really see my popping and locking right here. Oh yeah, rap battles. We could do it. Let's see here. Yeah, German. This is minted in Germany. That's right, um, Leon. Very good. Tricky guy. Thou shalt not buy any other metals before owning silver. That's exactly right. Kiss silver rounds, Eli. Check out eBay. I've seen them. And, uh, in fact, uh, there's a guy called Silver Planet who has, doesn't post as much anymore, but I think he bought a set of the kiss silver rounds and they were pretty cool yes bavarian state mint david argento says in fact um well there's no privy or anything on here that says it shows it but yeah enough of that how about some turkish silver who wants to see some turkish silver i do there's some Turkish silver for you folks. Look at that beard. This guy's got a... This is Turkish silver before they became... Well, this is after they joined NATO. Now NATO should kick those mofos out. 
Charles Wilson believes they're going to slam down PM next week. Why do you think the silver and gold is going to fall next week, Charles Wilson? Got some inside news for us. <clears throat> By the way, Leon lives in southwest of Germany, not far from Bavaria. Is that near the Black Forest, Leon, or is that on the east side? ZZ Top Coin. Yeah, that's right. There you go. He does look like the ZZ Top dude with a crazy – everybody's crazy about a guy with a sharp dress with a crazy hat. Ottoman Turk with a splash of Muslim Brotherhood. There you go. That's right, the perfect mix of Muslim Brotherhood and, a, um, and an Ottoman. Very good. With the spiffy, overinflated monetary value on there, 10 million lira. If it would focus, you could see it better. Black Forest Cake. Oh, yeah. Megadon Shark. Partridge Family. That's what we need, Eli. We need a Partridge Family coin. One for each member of the Partridge Family. That would rock. And Stephen Heath. Even better. We need an Iron Maiden coin. I'd love to have a coin with Eddie on it. Eddie on one side and Ed Force One on the other side would be sweet. Nice. Very good. Or my three sons. Can you imagine a Leave it to Beaver coin? A Leave it to Beaver silver round would just be the bomb diggity. Or a Happy Days. You know, that's the thing. You remember when Fonzie jumped the shark? I want that on a coin. And I'll sell it. And when it doesn't sell, then I can say that I jumped the shark. Even better, he has a Dimebag Daryl coin. That's for sure. Very good. I think we lost a few viewers talking about all these different shows that we'd like to have coined. And we've lost um, not only that loving feeling, but we've lost Silver Nymph. She's gone. We lost um, – is Haffy still around? Haffy may be gone too. But it's still early in um, Texas, so you would think he'd still be here, but maybe not. Let's see here. Volume and stocks up, dollar up, PMs close to 18. Yeah, somebody, I was asking somebody, um, let's see, where in the heck? Oh, shoot. Somebody, Charlie, Charlie predicted that the prices would go down. And I asked, and I don't know where, of course, there's so much going on here that I don't see an answer why he thinks they're going to go down. Let's see here. Hindenburg Zeppelin coin. Very cool. Yes, that would be awesome. Mash coins. Yes. Brady Bunch coin with Marsha, Marsha, Marsha. That would be a three coin set with her very stage at various stages of her life. Very good. Lots of different subjects on coins these days. Lots of different gimmicks and things and stuff. You know, we've got, you remember when uh, Provident Meadows came out with their musician series? And it bombed with Buddy Holly. That coin bombed. I mean, I think they're done with that series. Yes, a Henry Rollins coin. There you go. It could say liar in big letters on one side. <clears throat> Erdogan and Merkel with a perfect match. Very good. Munster's coins. <laughs> there you go. Very good. How about an Eddie Rabbit coin? I love a rainy night. That would be a huge seller. Yes, Joan Crawford would be the medal of – didn't she beat her kid? <laughs> is, that the, is that the actress who beat her kid? I'm not sure, but anyways. <clears throat> yes, the Egyptian god set is pretty cool. I need Elemental to put out Johnny Cash round, Sal. Yeah, that would be pretty cool, Anthony. Or a Metallica round would be nice. That's metal. Eli, that's a good question. I don't know. Mommy Dears, I thought that's who that was, Happy, Thank you. I thought that's who that was. Okay, all right. Very good. Uh, let's see here. Uh, Leon, would like to see some coins from the U.S. celebrating the different countries where the settlers came from. That's a good idea. Like we could have a Dutch coin because a Dutch settled Manhattan Island. 
English coin because a lot of the obviously the English settled um, Jamestown and Plymouth. Spanish, the Spanish the Spaniards came, the French came here. Uh, so yeah, that would be pretty cool and historical as well, for sure. Trump hair coin, yeah, there you go, Calvin Burns, good, blowing in the wind. Uh, there's one photo of a, of with his hair blowing the opposite way of his part. That's pretty funny. Three Stooges coins, yeah, there you go, David. And that would be one David would, David Argento has some really classic um, Three Stooges trading cards. And that would be a coin to sell. He's a big Stooges fan. Oh, very good. Or how about a Hemi, David Argento? A Hemi engine on a coin. That would be pretty sweet. See, there's so many. A Dresden Trudeau coin. There you go, Stephen Wells. <laughs> Shirtless Gordon Lightfoot coin. Eli Domo. Hey, the Domo's here? Domo. Domo. Where's Domo? I thought somebody said Domo. I always think I'm going to miss somebody's comment here. Last time the Landmark series might be done. Okay, all right, yeah. Yeah, they could be. Alex Jones coin, there you go. Irmon Griad is here. Good to see you. Yes, very nice. Do you have a... You know, it's funny because this is probably the most unorganized live feed I've had, and I've got the most viewers. It must be that the um, notifications are working. I remember one time I had a you know, some decent plans for a live feed and nobody showed up hardly. And I think the, um, then the notification didn't go out or something to that effect. Ooh, how about this for the shiny? The sharp strike and shiny. Yes, RIP the landmark series for sure. A wrinkled coin. There you go, Island Silver Lover. Great. Got steam, saw the notification. That's why he's here. Very good. Well, thank you for coming, for sure. Yeah, uh, Anthony G., the Mount Rushmore Landmarks round was awesome. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. Especially buts. There's no buts about it. Ermon Griot is here, but didn't get a notification. If you click on the bell, if you, click, if you go to the subscribe button area, and even if you're already subscribed, there's a little bell there. If you hit that, then it'll notify you. And somehow, some way, the AG, that was nice. They ended up with a nice design, at least. The AG. You're talking about the Attorney General, Janet Reno? We need a Janet Reno coin. There you go. Rip Van Winkle coin. Buy and keep it for 20 years. Good one, tricky guy. Leon, a coin to celebrate friendship between Russia and the Trump administration. Yeah. Kiwi Silver is here from New Zealand. He's coming to us from the future. Very nice. Thank you, uh, Kiwi Silver. Yes, you're now talking to the past. Uh, let's see here. Very good, but welcome. Thank you. Um, Black, red, silver bug, Pepe. You, you know, and I wonder what this Pepe movement is. That's a that's a Reddit thing, or is that? I remember that they trolled the um, the uh, he will not divide us thing. But what is exactly is Pepe? Oh yes, Ario Speedwagon, Colonic Stacker. Thank you, reminded me. I wanted to ask about that guitar player. I forget his name. David. He is absolutely amazing. Um, I saw them in concert. Ario Speedwagon. Actually, I saw them with Ted Nugent. They toured together. But that guitar player for Argo Speedwagon is incredible. What the? If you said his name, I'd know it. Let me Google it real quick. Uh, hold on. Let me find it. I've got a um, Argo Speedwagon guitar player. I know they had a couple. Dave Amato, that's it, Dave Amato, yes. He, that guy is the bomb diggity. And uh, they had a couple guitar players. 
But Dave Amato, I think, is just was the best, in my opinion. <clears throat> All right. Let's see here. Now I miss New Zealand, home of the New A own coin or Al coin. Maybe it means Al. Hillary loved Putin. Reset button, too. That's right, Eli. Hmm. Leon's from the future, too. All my European friends are from the future, but Kiwi is like from way in the future, like a whole day. <laughs> Practically, or 12 hours, 12 hours at least. He's, he's into tomorrow, big time into tomorrow. I mean, although it's probably tomorrow. Hey, Silver Hustling, good to see you. You know, honestly, guys, I was expecting this to be a short chat. But you guys are here. You're you're hanging with me, so I'm hanging with you. Let's see here. All the rich Americans are moving to New Zealand. They have flying cars in Germany, Leon says. Where are you at, Irmon Griot? Is there, the Kiwis are three hours ahead of him. He must be in... Um, Australia on the western coast, maybe. 12.34 in the afternoon on Saturday. Thank you, Kiwi. Saturday afternoon there. It's Friday evening here. I'm on the east coast. Silver Hudson 13. So the learns went out this time, Lulu Snowflake says. Very good. Nice. It brought us some people. The bells are tolling here. All right, let's show something else here. You see, you like the reverse of that too. The reverse looks nice. Now let's look at the this puppy. That's a kookaburra for you. The Aussies Aussies pronounce a kookaburra. Oh wait, let's take that Turkish silver away. <clears throat> so yeah, very good. Where did that come from? Okay, so yes, very good. All right, well, we're asking for you guys is what would you like to see or what would you think would be funny or cool to see on a coin? What design or what theme would you like commemorated? We've already talked about TV shows in the past. Can you imagine a Dukes of Hazzard um, coin? Uh, that type of thing, you know, it's... Silver Supplements here. Hello, Silver Supplement. Good to see you. Hey, take care, Robert Carlson. Thanks for stopping by. You're probably already gone. I missed where you said goodbye, but if you come back and watch it, you will see that I, in fact, did say hello, and then I said goodbye. So take it squeezy. Don't be sleazy and all that sneezy. Let's see. What else? Business idea. Silver tips to put on big pens because in case of vampire attacks you can just stab them with a pen, uh, with a pen good idea it's a great business model you should get it patented drunken swine let's see here yes indeed nice okay i'm wondering i'm wondering if we should make since i've got a crowd here an audience I've lost four viewers. Let's see if we can call Las Vegas. Las Vegas, Nevada. So who we're going to call. Just a second here. We're getting there. I'm going to be Bob Livingston, okay, on this call here. <clears throat> if I can find the number, just bear with me. Uh, let's see here. Okay, this is it, I think. I hope this is it. The number you have dialed is not in service. Son of Please a get son of a motherless goat in heat. I'm gonna find another one. Hold on a minute here. There's got to be another number for me to call here that we can have fun with. But I forget. I forget where it is. Well, nope, I don't have it. I think that was it, and I think it's gone now. I think it is gone. All right, back to you guys. All right. Oh, was it that loud, Haffy? Sorry about that. 24K, Bob Livingston coin. There you go. 
my coffee is cold. Probably because I didn't put it in a uh, Silver Hustle 13 inspired mug. Dinner smelling good. <clears throat> Brexit. Wow, Pogs takes me back. Pogs, yeah, what is Pogs? I asked about Pepe earlier too, and no one answered. Yeah, I wasn't able to do the prank call. That would be awkward, Stephen. I didn't find called you for sure. Sorry about that. Let's see your stackers today, greedy nerds, stackers tomorrow, respected bankers of the SHTF community. Silver back. Famous soft and cuddly kitty coins to add to the multitude of fortitude. Yes, very good. All right. Oh, periodic symbol for silver on a coin. Will Calvin Burns, <laughs> you must be new to my channel. Are you still here, Calvin Burns? If you if you are, let me show you this. Let me find it. Hold on. <clears throat> I want to know if Calvin Burns is still here. Because he made a suggestion. Okay, Calvin. I don't think you've seen this, have you? You asked for a periodic symbol for silver? Bam, there it is. That's the Bohr's uh, diagram for silver. Does that answer your question, Calvin? Cool. All right. Very good. All right. There you go. All right. <clears throat> All right. All right. Somebody is talking my talk now. Uh, Bob Wolf would like to see um, a coin with Uncle Ted Nugent receiving some Monica Lewinsky from Hillary Clinton. <laughs> there you go. Um, yes, Calvin, if you go to my channel, <clears throat> there's a link on the main page. Um, and actually, it's in this, uh, it's actually right in the description of this video, too, from within this video's description. If you click on the quality silver bullion link there, and the rounds are there if you're interested. Let's see here. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> a scratch and sniff coin. You know, Island Silver Love, Island Boy Silver Lover. A scratch and sniff coin. You know, it's funny you mentioned that. They actually have those. There was one um, that had uh, a scratch and sniff, I think, of pizza. And there was another one with chocolate. And uh, I believe there's one other that was a scratch sniff coin for a while. Eli, a Devo coin. There you go. Whip it real good. That would be awesome. Thank you, Calvin. Yeah, you might like that. And then this is for sale later, too, by the way. All right. <clears throat> D. Snyder coin. There you go, Silver Hustle 13. How about a butthole surfer coin? <laughs> or a clutch coin. A clutch coin might be Silver Hustle 13's up his alley. <clears throat> Macho Man. Oh, yeah. Snap into it. There you go, a whole wrestling series. How about it? How about this, Happy? A dead wrestler, dead wrestler series. Eddie Guerrero. Um, you've got um, what's her name? I mean, there's too many that I can't even list them all. All the dead wrestlers that are out there. Elizabeth, Macho Man. I am Gogi. Yes, we want an I am Gogi coin. There we go. Johnny Bravo coin, Buck Rogers coin, yes. See, we have some great ideas here. We Engl uh, English football clubs coin. There you go, Stephen Heath. Very good. Yeah. Yeah, let's see here. Mega powers. Business idea, scratch and lick. Silver's healthy in small amounts. Good business idea, tricky guy. You should get those patented. How about a King Diamond coin? I think we need a King Diamond coin. Yeah, Ultimate Warrior, Roddy Piper, Jimmy Snuka, Chris Benoit. Chris Benoit, that was a, he, didn't he kill his family and then shoot himself or something? 
Oh, yeah. Detailed alien and UFO coins, not the crappy depictions. That's a good one, Calvin Burns. They could really make some good. Um, yeah. Oh, yes. Thank you. Um, Silver Supplement asked, and Lulu answered. Uh, oh, the capsule for the kitty round. Yes. <clears throat> um, the capsule. For, yeah. The capsule for the sales round will fit the um, Queen's Beast. But they do sell the capsules there on the website as well. And actually, the link for that's in the description for the coin or for the round there. Ren the Stimpy. Ren the Stimpy. There you go. Silver Lesson 13. Dave. A Dave coin. Ric Flair coin. How about a Lulu Snowflake coin? I want to see a Lulu Snowflake coin. That would be awesome. It was Canadian Silver Saver. Yeah, there was an issue with the um, with the capsules. Apparently, the Queen's Beast is not big enough to fit the the round. And I, I could test that theory. Let me see here. Well, I don't have a freaking crap. See the the um, the uh, the diameter. Let me see here. Let me show you. Let me see if I can find it here. <clears throat> Hold on. <clears throat> All right, let me see if I can do this. The Queen's Beast and the Sal's Beast. There they are. Different diameters. Mine is 39, there's a 38. See the difference? Let it sort of focus here. Maybe it'll focus. I need to get a camera, a webcam that focuses. So with that being said, a, um, <clears throat> a Queen's Beast capsule will not fit the Fertitude round, but a, uh, a Queen's Beast will fit in a Fertitude capsule, if that makes sense. So, all right. Now, let me put this back. I might do a video on that. Canadian Silver Saver posted a video about that. Very nice of him, by the way. Put that here. It's getting late, guys. It's getting late. I've got a, I've got a date tonight with some metal. I mean, literally, I'm going to get some more heavy metal tonight. And it's not coins. It's, it's farm machinery. You'll see. I might even show it. And there won't be any silver in it or anything like that. It's just going to be metal. And I'm, but and I'm going to get that in exchange for some beer. So I bring the six-pack, and I get the cool farm stuff. I mean, I'll show you what I'm talking about, because some of you weren't here earlier. Hold on. I'm finding it. I'm looking. Crap. Oh, here, here we go. Stuff like this. Let me show you guys. Let me, it's stuff like this. All right, good. All right, this is the kind of stuff I'm going to be getting tonight. Look at that chunk of metal. That's some metal right there. You know what I mean? That's some awesome stuff. This is a PTO shaft. Power takeoff shaft. I'm going to be getting stuff like this tonight. That's the kind of metal I like. I mean, other than Overkill and King Diamond and Testament and stuff like that. This is some cool stuff. Yeah. This is worth staying up late for, CCT. Really, it is. See that gear? Look at that. Half he doesn't know what he's missing. Yeah, very good. <clears throat> so that's the kind of thing. That's the kind of thing. So <clears throat> let me put this back. It smells good too. Mm. 
Oh, before I go, look at this. Here's another thing. Look, 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 look at this. Look at that. Look at it. That is a steel iron ball. That is one big ball right there. If you put this to the wall, you'd have balls to the wall. Striper's awesome, too. Striper's cool. Thank you, Edward Spencer. All right. Then you got this copper ball. Pure copper, this sucker is. Look at that. Ermin Griot asked, and what do you do with it, Sal? <laughs> well, I would look at it and I touch it. It's about, you know, I like to fondle my metals. It's just cool to have heavy metal. And a buddy of mine has this stuff, and it's if it's small enough, I like paperweight. Thank you, Lulu. There you go. That gives me some legitimacy. These are paperweights. All right. Now. Okay. What do you think? Maybe I'll just stay here for six or seven hours and just bore everyone to death. What do you think? Sepultura. Silver Awesome 13 is the man. Sepultura, awesome band. I love early 90s Sepultura. Beneath the Remains and Arise. Yes. Um, Provident Metals has a Queen's Beast cap, so perfect direct fit. Very good, yes. Colonic Stacker is exactly right. Overkill should have played the Trump inauguration. I agree with that. Silver Gator's here. Hello, Silver Gator. Danzig. Yes. It's a dirty black summer, my friend. Mother. Very good. All right. Yes, we sh under pale gray sky, we shall arise, Anthony G. Exactly right. Old school Sepultura. That's good stuff right there. Classic album. Subtraction is a great tune off that track. Works great, no shake. Ministry. Yes, good to see you all. And you know what? I really honestly do need to... Oh, Calvin wants to see some naughty coins. I used to have one of those heads, tails tokens that had the uh, the bust of a woman on one side, her boobies, and on the other side it had her booty. But I don't know where it is right now. Annihilator is awesome too. Yeah, old Annihilator is good. Skrillex coin. There you go. Silver to burn. Yeah, I know it's out of focus, God's name. Sorry. This thing has a mind of its own. I can say focus all day long. It's got to have a high contrast. Let me put it right here. <clears throat> and you know what? I'm going to have to bolt here soon anyway, guys. It's getting to be that time. You know what I'm saying? I got I to, gotta, you know, make like a tree and leaf. You know what I'm saying? Eli's got to run too. Eli, check out the book of Eli, the movie, The Book of Eli, Eli. It's a killer movie. Silver Wolverine Vicious Stacker wants a Kate Upton nude colored coin. There we go. Liquor in the front, poker in the back. Oh my gosh, Silver to Burn. That's, that's, that's oh. You have to know, you have to read what he said to understand what it means, but that's pretty hilarious. Oh my gosh. All right. Kicks. Yeah, Kicks. They're from Maryland. KJR1717. So they could just a hop, skip, and a jump. And Kix could have uh, could have made it and did the uh, did the inauguration for sure. Uh, David Argento wants a, go a coin made of Gaddafi's gold. There you go. Hey, thank you, Godsteam. Appreciate you you coming by. And yeah, sorry, Silver Gator. I've got to I got to you know head out of here. You know what I'm saying? I've got to do some junk with my boy. I'm gonna get some more metal and stuff. Because we're going to fight for freedom. F is for freedom. All right. Very good. All right, guys. Yes, there will be more God Steam and everyone else. And I appreciate everyone stopping by this evening. Really do appreciate you guys. 
I mean, really extend the multitude of gratitude you all for coming. I think this is the, the, the most viewers I've ever had in a live stream. And I appreciate all you guys' participation. I enjoyed reading your comments. If I've missed some, I apologize. It looks like some people got to head out anyway. Chris Picker's got to go and all that jazz. So um, everyone have a wonderful weekend. Be safe out there. And uh, stay tuned for the next video and all that jazz and all that metal. Have a great weekend. And a multitude of gratitude to you all. Take care. Bye-bye.